Hey guys, welcome to Boxing Squared for Boxing News and Views from around the internet. Post-fight review for Kubrat Pulu versus late-notice opponent Igor Shevardutsky. This fight was in Sofia, Bulgaria. So Kubrat Pulu ended up uh, sort of convincingly taking this one, I think, as many would have expected. 117-111 on all three judges' scorecards. Shevardutsky sort of fading in the second half of the fight. He was at a pretty hefty 286 pounds. And that um, did show in the second half of the fight as his volume dropped and Kubrat Pulev really took control and just sort of uh, swept up pretty much all of the rounds. So 117-111, pretty fair reflection of the fight. Shevardutsky did have a couple of really good early rounds, rounds three, rounds four. But after that, the volume started to drop. He wasn't able to have the same sort of success. And Kubrat Pulev started to land the right hand more. And this fight was controlled by Pulev, largely from the outside with the jab. And when they were getting in close, it was pretty scrappy sort of stuff. But overall, Kubrat Pulev, pretty workmanlike performance, did his job, did what he was meant to do. And the opportunity to face Mahmoud Char remains. And that fight is potentially going to happen for Char's WBA regular title in September or October. So you can see here on screen, Mahmoud Char, who not so long before the fight, about a week or so, just over, uh, had a, a bicep injury. I believe he tore a bicep, so there was surgery. Uh, and that, you can try to go to Instagram, but he did post something and it was sort of uh, censored. Uh, but that injury re requires some time for recovery. He spoke of September or October, but I wouldn't be surprised if it would be a little bit later because uh, that injury itself with the surgery he had to, you know, on the bicep, etc., that could take a, a little bit longer to heal, three or four months at least. And then you have, what, a camp on top of that as well once he's starting to, to really get right. So perhaps that's best case scenario, but he is in good shape. So potentially the recovery will be, uh, will go quite well in September or October is viable but i think maybe actually towards the end of the year so he said to kubrat pulev that and i'll just get my notes here i promise i will give you the heavyweight title shot see you soon and he said a couple of other things but uh, that was really the meat of what he had to say and he was shushing people that were trying to boo him all that sort of stuff telling them to chill and relax all that sort of thing but yeah unfortunate this that this fight between pulev and char couldn't happen now because I think Kubrat Pulev, even at 42, would have taken this fight against Mahmoud Char, who's just not really any good. And Pulev at 42 still looked relatively sharp against Igor Shevardutsky. This fight always had rounds written all over it because Shevardutsky is durable. And if you don't have that sort of Martin Bacoli type power, you're probably not going to put a dent in into him so i expected this was going to go the distance and at times it could resemble a bit of a sparring session and at times yeah it got a little bit like that it was a little bit samey but kubrat pulev straight up and down no special effects uh, used the jab to good effect and as the fight wore on started to mix in some other shots like the uppercut left uppercut uh, the straight right hand started to find a target with more regularity in the second half of the fight and overall yeah it was a good performance i mean there are a number of other heavyweights uh, in the division a similar sort of age who are not fighting nearly as well as Pulev uh, but you know he's always had good skills been able to bring them to bear in the ring and I think yeah against Mahmoud Char if this fight happens towards the end of the year I think he takes I think he absolutely smashes Char to bits I think Shevardutsky would beat Mahmoud Char but yeah Kubrat Pulev he keeps uh, you know his sort of hand in the ring here to get past Char and potentially to a bigger fight. He wants to go out with a bang, have another big fight in his career, and I don't consider or classify Mahmoud Char a big fight, but if he has that belt, he takes it off Char, he's got some leverage. Potentially he could get into the mix for a Saudi Arabian fight, 
we will see. There could be a number of names that uh, you know could be brought in um, from the Saudis to face Akubrat Pulev if he can beat Cha. And I'm sure even though it potentially wouldn't be for a title, it could be for some serious money. There's a lot of guys in the heavyweight division know that if they can get one or two good wins on their resume, they put themselves in the shop window for those big paydays in Saudi Arabia. But also, if he does have the WBA regular title, he's in the mix potentially uh, to get a mandatory shot against the holder of the belt. The WBA has been fought for not so long ago. So uh, that was Daniel Dubois against Alexander Usyk. So in the rotation of the belts, you know, it, it's sort of a year or so out at least. Uh, but with belts potentially to fracture at some point, you know, if, if that happens, if uh, they have the rematch for Undisputed, uh, the belts could uh, potentially scatter, then Kubrat Pulev, if he beats Char, could be Johnny on the spot for a title shot against who knows who. But Kubrat Pulev gets the decision here against Igor Shevardutsky. Shevardutsky, uh, I think he's going to occupy a sort of space in the heavyweight division, similar to some other sort of durable guys that if you want rounds, you know, he's a guy that's going to give you and keep uh, good, honest rounds. He is going to go in there. He's not going to give up. And if you can't put a dent in him, he'll keep coming. But at 286 pounds, that's not really going to work. But late notice opponent, so you can give him a little bit of a break. But as they say, you should be sort of, you know, professional fighter should be looking to stay ready. So when you get the call, you can jump in and you're ready to go. I don't think he helped himself with the weight, but with the performance, he didn't disgrace himself. He had some good rounds and, you know, he was able to uh, land some good work to the body. The left hook sometimes uh, not rattled Kubrat Pulev, but certainly it wasn't something that uh, Pulev was uh, wanting to take too many of. But just not enough landed, not enough success. And I think the weight had a little bit to do with that. But also he is a cut below in terms of the quality of opponent, you know, compared to Kubrat Pulev. So, yeah, he can come again, but I think he is going to perpetually be one of those guys somewhere in that top 25 to top 40 range who'll give you good work, but probably that's where his lot will be. He'll beat some of the other fringe guys coming through, but probably not going too much further than he already is. But doesn't mean he can't get the paydays like with this one here with Kubrat Pulev. What do you make of it all? Igor Shevardutsky, Kubrat Pulev, Pulev 117-111 on all three judges' scorecards. Drop a comment loud and often. Hit like, hit subscribe, follow me on Twitter. Boxing underscore squared. I'm out.